In some ways, returning to Earth from the International Space Station will be very similar to how Crew Dragon arrived, very methodically. The first step is to undock from the ISS. After the capsule has been packed up and prepped for undocking, Dragon will back away and slowly make its way outside of the Keep Out Sphere, a safety zone around the orbiting laboratory. The onboard Draco engines will then be used for a series of phasing burns to move Dragon into a lower orbit and orient itself for re-entry. As it gets closer to Earth, Dragon will ditch its trunk, aka its service module, right before its final deorbit burn, which is when things really get interesting. Fast. Crew Dragon will enter the atmosphere around 17,000 miles per hour. Now, the particles in the atmosphere will cause Dragon to slow down, but will also heat the outside of the spacecraft to over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to vaporize steel. Now, this is where Dragon's heat shield plays a critical role in protecting Dragon and the crew members inside. After this fiery stage of re-entry, four Mark III parachutes will deploy, doing the final part to slow Crew Dragon down out ahead of a gentle splashdown somewhere off the coast of Florida.